Fox 5 News starts now. Right now at 3 o'clock, we are tracking some big news rocking Raiders Nation following Sunday's loss to the Kansas City Chiefs. The team waived safety Roderick Teamer on Monday. Teamer was arrested on suspicion of DUI and speeding on Sunday morning. Antonio Pierce confirmed the news at the Monday press conference. Teams, uh, teamer rather played in six games this season for the Silver and Black and last appeared October 15th against the Patriots. Another hit for the team was the waving of cornerback Marcus Peters. The 30 year old had 43 tackles and one interception returned for a touchdown this season before being benched in the first half against the Chiefs. Pierce called it a coach's decision at the time and would not go into further detail on the release today. And it's on all too familiar feeling for the Raiders today as they are once again looking for answers. This after falling to the Chiefs for the sixth consecutive time and the 16th time in the last 18 meetings with the Chiefs. And what was uh, made things frustrating over at Legion Stadium was the start for the Silver and Black. The Raiders went up 14 to zero thanks in part to the 63 yard touchdown run by Josh Jacobs. But that's as good as that would get as Kansas City outscored Vegas 31 to three the rest of the way. Interim head coach Antonio Pierce met with the media today and says the bye week couldn't come at a better time. It's also an opportunity for us to reset mentally. You know, it's been a lot of uh, trying times this year, you know, a lot of ups and downs. And um, you sit back, you reset, you think about it, you spend some time with your family. And then, you know, come towards the end of the week, you start missing football again. That Friday, that Saturday, Sunday, you're not playing. Get these guys back in the building on Monday and we're ready to roll. So after some rest and relaxation this week on the bye, the Raiders are back at Allegiant Stadium December 10th when they play the Minnesota Vikings.